Just your typical morning for the Victor family as they wait for their school bus on the driveway of their home on Highway 11 East just outside of Red Deer. On this day, we came out to do a story on school bus safety and the growing concern of motorists passing school bus stop signs. There's been uh, people that just don't stop, uh, fly by the bus. It's really prevalent the other way, coming towards the bus. It is. It's scary for them to get on the bus on the highway. It takes two minutes to stop, but the kids are on the bus, and uh, some people are just in a hurry and don't want to stop, and it's a big concern for us. And sure enough, as we're capturing the girls getting on the school bus, with the stop sign out and the lights flashing, this happens. It, the stop sign's out, and he literally went right around it, so they don't even... It, it's right there in plain sight, so you can see the stop sign, and they're blowing right past it. It just kind of baffles me. Um, it's a stop sign. I don't know how this stop sign is any different than the stop sign that's out there. Uh, school buses have been using a safety system with um, crossing arms and stop signs since like almost the 1970s, so I don't know why they think it's an option. For Tana Smith, this isn't the first time it's happened to her school bus. She hopes people will just use common sense. I put my yellow amber lights on several hundred meters before I actually stop. So they have that warning. And then when I do stop, they switch to red. A stop sign comes out and a crossing arm. I, I, I don't know. I mean, in town, a yellow light, you have to prepare to stop. Construction, yellow light, slow down, prepare to stop. My yellow lights are telling people to do that, but they, they don't. It looks like a spaceship, so you can't miss it. It's The lights are flashing, there's a huge stop sign, so for people just to blow right past it is a little discouraging. So much so that shop foreman of the Red Deer Catholic School Division Student Transportation Services, Caesar Panet, decided to add a set of eyes to the school buses to capture evidence against those who break the law. The safety of our students are extremely important, um, so therefore we went above and beyond and installed the cameras on our school buses to ensure that we, we enforce those regulations. If we can save one, one student from being hurt or even worse, um, it's well worth what we're putting into our buses. So we're, we're trying to look at having 30 red light cameras in by December. I have some on the outside on the driver's side here. There's two cameras that sees forward, like both ways. And that's what picks up the people that go past my red lights, is that one. The fact that they have this new technology uh, and people, I don't think people, a lot of people would know about it. So it's a good thing to get this story out there. Because, you know, if you pass a bus now, if they have this technology, you're going to get a ticket. Uh, you can just about count the uh, hair on a person's face through these cameras or uh, High definition cameras, they're, they just work great. They do take a really nice picture. And if you're unfortunate enough to get a nice picture in the mail with a ticket, be prepared. Currently it is a six demerits and a $543 fine as well. That's nothing in comparison to having to deal with the loss of a life at your own hands. People don't think of the worst consequences, but they do think of their pocketbook a lot of times. But um, for us, it's definitely, we don't want anyone hurt. And if this helps that happen, that's a, that's a great thing for us. Um, so hopefully they'll learn with these tickets. <laughs> in Red Deer, Rene Rondeau, rdnewsnow.com.